In the previous episode of Iron Man... Although much of the blast was contained underground, the explosion spread a radioactive cloud for miles. Much of the blame and anger is focused on a major player in this tragedy, Iron Man. The very technology that you designed to keep yourself alive... ...is being used to commit atrocities. Endless opportunities for terrorist misery because of what I built. These negator packs seem to do a pretty good job of disabling my stolen technology. Generate a list of every known armored warrior. Everybody gets a personally delivered gift box, courtesy of Iron Man. It's just you and me, Iron Man, like I've always wanted. It's about Iron Man. You shut down Iron Man, or S.H.I.E.L.D. will shut down Stark Enterprises, period. Effective immediately. I'm terminating Iron Man's employment by Stark Enterprises. <gasps> to put it simply, he's fired. You can lie in public all you want, but don't lie to me! Why do you always push away the people who care the most about you? I don't know. <sighs> Why won't you talk to me?! success you'd hope for, huh? My emotions got the best of me. Yeah, that's what Tony does best. Most people get close, but never really lets him in. What do we do, Jim? He's cut himself off. He won't listen to anybody. Except those of the holographic persuasion. Yo, homie! How about cutting us a couple megabytes of information? My programming prevents me from divulging any privileged data. A wise up, binary brain. Tony's going down for the third time and dragging everyone else down with him. You know what happens then? They put you to work checking tax returns for the IRS. Uh, actually, I have found Mr. Stark's recent behavior rather unsettling. Yeah, isn't it crazy? Perhaps I can facilitate a frank discussion of the issues. Would it be useful if I were to locate him for you? He's at the beach house, isn't he? No, he is currently flying south. What the hell? Where do you Probable think it... target identified. Special Naval Command operative, code name. Stingray. Aw, oh, Jim. Oh, I know. He's gunning for the good guys again. Rhodey, you've got to stop him. Hey, look, I've tried, but there's no talking. I don't mean talk. I mean stop him as War Machine. I can't fight Tony. I mean, he's Tony. He's not the Tony we knew. Rhodey, he's crossed the line. He's a menace to himself and everyone else. Hard drive. Prepare the War Machine armor. So it's real nice and shiny for when Tony kicks my rear. Serious hot water, Iron Man. Fired from Stark Security Umbrella. And then assault the level six naval command officers. No laughing. Yeah, I'm working alone these days, but believe me, Stingray. I don't want to fight you. Yeah, well, tell that to the fans when they slam your sorry butt in the brig. Hydro armor. I can figure you've trespassed on federal property, assaulted a naval officer, 
and taking a dip without waiting an hour after mealtime. I don't have time for one of your morality lectures, Jim. Yo, we'll make time. I'm here to put the kibosh on your act one way or another. Don't you get it? I have to do this. I have to. It's the only way to make sure my designs... Wait a minute. Your war machine armor is also one of my designs. Tony, you got rust in your helmet or what? Knock it off! I can't stop. I must not stop. You really lost it! Ah! Oh, not again! Not the water! Sir, you are drowning, Mr. Rhodes! Uh, Jim, oh. drowning! Now what? Don't tell me he's gonna make it rain on me. Wait, he's not showing up on radar. Oh, he must have activated his thinking stealth. Oh. I'm sorry, Jim. But your armor is based on the same Stark technology you've been tracking down. If it ever fell into the wrong hands... Don't you see? Too much blood's already been spilled with my sword to hit half the hand! Your timing stinks, Stark! Just when I did, get used to the darn thing again. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, Iron Man Stark Enterprise's squeaky clean corporate symbol has become an uncontrollable menace. Mr. Hammer, don't you mean former corporate symbol? Mm, whatever. So, as a loyally patriotic citizen of this great nation and... To end this sad chapter in history, I've placed all of Hammer Corporation's considerable resources at the government's disposal. Wow. In a momentous collaboration, the final solution to the Iron Man threat... Ladies and gentlemen, meet Firepower! Control tanks and planes are just for target practice. Firepower was built for one purpose, and one purpose only. To ensure the security and safety of the world by destroying the renegade Iron Man. You got it wrong, Hammer, old boy. It's firepower using my stolen technology that needs the destroying. If I can take Hammer's brain child apart and analyze it, I'll have the proof I need. And then, Tony, what possible good can oh, I... Oh, Julia, I love the chat. There's a 5,000 pound gorilla looking to peel me like a banana. Tony! Tony! No! Oh, you stupid... <laughs> Nothing like an iron helmet. Nicely amplify the sound of an explosion. Warning, Iron Man's heart rate and blood pressure are at critical levels. All right, laughing boy. Maybe you got me outgunned. But this armor of mine wasn't just built for comfort. Built for speed. Locking on target. Locking on target. Locking on target. On target. On target. On target. On target. Miss me? Here's a chip on your shoulder. The Gator chip, that is. Um, mind if I ask you a question? Shouldn't your circuits be turning to guacamole about now? Locking on target. That's one answer. So, after Iron Man's vicious and unprovoked attack upon the Guardsmen, I analyzed his negator packs and discovered a way to neutralize their effects. They're totally useless against Firepower's design. Sir, your circuitry has run down. Repulsor power nearly exhausted. And, oh yes, you have two broken ribs. Okay. Now, give me the bad news. Continued combat could prove fatal. You're absolutely right. What's he doing? Apparently launching another attack. Tony! Marking on target. Ladies and gentlemen, 
You have just witnessed live on national TV the end of Iron Man. <laughs> what a stinking lousy waste. Watch out, here comes Iron Man! Woo-hoo, look at him fly! Oops! <laughs> What's so funny, soldier? Nothing, sir. Bet your job, nothing. There was a good man in that armor and he deserves your respect. Is that clear? Sir! Yes, sir! <laughs> 